everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube channel and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel the button is just down below it says subscribe and it's free so you might as well and if you're subscribed already or if you just don't want to miss any of my videos make sure you push the notifications button it looks like this because YouTube has been doing this thing recently when they haven't been putting everyone's videos in everyone's subscription boxes so that's really annoying so just make sure you push the button so you get notified every time I upload so that's all I've got to say so let's jump straight into the video So the first thing that you need to do is go to youtube.com and as it loads up you just need to go to the sign in bit at the top and then at the bottom it says create account and you just click that and then fill in all these details and here where it says birthday you basically need to be over the age of 12 or 13 I believe to be able to create an account on YouTube so if you're under that age you can't really create an account because it's against their rules so once you fill in all of these details it will just show you what to do after that so yeah it's just really really easy now that you've created your YouTube account I'm just going to show you how to navigate around creator studio and basically what creator studio is is a tool that YouTube give for free to creators like on YouTube so they can see their analytics and stuff like that so much easier and it's actually a really really helpful tool and I didn't actually know it existed like for quite a while after I uploaded my first video so this is just going to help you so much when you want to improve your channel and stuff like that so what you've got to do is go to your icon up here and I'm just on YouTube by the way it's just youtube.com so you just go to your little icon up here with your profile picture and then go to create a studio and then once that loads up um, here's your dashboard and here's all of my recent videos and um, these videos aren't public yet by the way if you're wondering why they've only got like seven views five views and this one has like only been up for like a couple days but yeah so these are all my latest videos and um, these are my like comments and you can actually like change up where you want your dashboard to be but by the way this is like only you can see what's on your dashboard so this is yeah you can just play around with it like you can like I don't remember how to do it oh yeah here you can just like drag it like wherever you want it so when you go to your dashboard it will be in the place that you want it to be right <laughs> so you can just like go to your YouTube channel by pushing view channel and then you can just see what it would look like for your viewers visiting your channel and you can change this setting here to returning subscriber new visitor instead of yourself because this is what you see when you look at your channel so you can change your profile picture just by pressing this and it will tell you how to change your profile picture and also if you press this you can change your channel banner and you can also play around with what you want here um, just by pressing like edit and like about so yeah you can just play around with it like experiment yourself so I'm just gonna go back to creator studio just to kind of show you what else is on creator studio so yeah here's the dashboard um, and then when you go to video manager video manager just shows you the videos that you've uploaded and how they're doing and you can press edit and I'll just show you an example like this one so as I said before this one is like not published yet it's not live so no one can see other than myself and this like schedule tool is actually really really helpful so um, you can just kind of change the setting here so normally when you would upload a video it would go to public but if you don't want um, a video going up straight away and you don't want your audience to see it straight away you can just press this scheduled button and you can just schedule it for like as far in advance as you want it to be so I've decided on the December like <laughs> the 11th of December and at 7 p.m. I want this video to be live for my audience to see and then you can change your description to say whatever you want it to be your title um, yeah just seriously like play around with all these settings and stuff just as like experiment because that's the best way to learn like these tutorials um, will be like a bit helpful but 
experimenting yourself is going to be so much more helpful and that's how I um, that's how I learned all of these different stuff like I just experimented um, so you can add cards and that's basically just the pop-up thing over here with the little eyes they kind of just pop out and like let the audience know a recent video or something like that so you can just like add cards whenever you want end screens yeah just play around with it I'm not gonna go into too much depth because this is gonna be a very long video if I do so yeah you can just play around with that these are the playlists that I've created some TV not TV shows like YouTube shows that I think I've created I'm not sure I've never really been on this bit of the creator studio uh, copyright notices I used to get quite a few copyright notices I've never got a copyright strike um, just some notices because I kind of use um, copyrighted music which you shouldn't um, so here you can live stream I'm not gonna live stream right now obviously and then the next like part of creative studio is the community and you can just go through all these comments uh, replying this is the best way to reply um, to all your recent comments because these are all the videos instead of just one at a time and lots of videos get held for spam I recently just went through all my spam comments and made sure they're approved so they're not stuck there because um, I'm doing a giveaway at the moment so that would be really really annoying if they're stuck in spam and these are messages that I've received my subscribers so I can see all of you guys see your names and stuff like that fan funding and when you go on there it just says it's not available for my country <laughs> uh, community settings and credits you don't really need these two so I never go to them um, this is the channel um, monetize monetization is basically how you make money but I'm gonna make another video on how you make money on YouTube Upload defaults is a really really good one. I use this all the, all, all the time. Sorry, I keep stumbling my words because I'm like talking so fast. So you can just change this to whatever you want it to say. So every single video that you upload, all of this information is going to upload with that video every single time. So you can have the same description every single time if you want. So I normally keep all of this information the same every time but then add like some information at the top about that specific video. Um, featured content, branding, advance, like you can just look around um, Creator Studio to see what those are. Analytics are just like how your videos are doing, like how much money you're making, so I'm not really gonna show you that right now because um, I find that quite a private thing. Um, and then create, so if you're wondering how you get free music on YouTube and how people get music that's not copyrighted and how they don't get like their videos striked um because of the, the copyrighted music so how you get free music that's like okay to use on youtube is you just go to create and then you go to video edit oh no it's here sorry i haven't used this for so long um but yeah you can just go on to audio library so once you press create it will go to audio library and you can just go through all of these like different musics and then you can like download them onto your computer and the ones with this little like man little symbol thing um basically means that you have to give the artist credit in the description or in the video i don't know what the terms and conditions are but yeah you've got to give like credit to the artist if you use these music like these musics but the rest of the music, you don't have to give credit to the artist, so it's fine. But yeah, I think that's all like, oh yeah, vid video editor. So you can basically just drag your videos there and add music if you want to do it that way. It's just, I don't bother with that. I just edit it on iMovie and I'll show you in a different video how I edit and film my videos. So stay tuned for that. That's it for my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you have any video suggestions, comment it down below because I want to know what you want to see from me. Um, yeah, so see you next time. Bye.